Hey guys, YST here, and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. That portal is gleaming right above me, which means 2x Void Summons. Guys, I have not had a Void Legendary Champion in 6 months. I'm not even kidding you. If you go back through my YouTube channel, my last Void Legendary pool was a Coroner. And that was, like I just said, 6 months ago. It's insane. So today we have got 43 Void Shards. I don't know if I'm on Mercy, how close I am to anything. But I would like to say that I'm definitely on Mercy by now. I have to be. Um, in terms of what champions I'd want, anything S tier. I'm not looking for some trash. I don't want some Constantines. None of that stuff. I'm looking for Sippies, Krisk, Hegemons. You name it, I want it. Not a Doom Physics again. Please. Um, we're going to start with 7 Ancients actually. Let's go. How is everyone's 2x gone so far? Have you summoned any pools? Are you saving for a 10x? And are you going for this apart in Clan Father Fusion? Alright, an epic and we got a royal guard. Nice. Imagine if a legendary pops out of the ancients. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, I can't believe it. Six months. Like I was looking at it on stream the other day and I was like, there's no way. Like It's been that long, really? Do you guys get the same luck as me? All right, so we got a go mask. Just paying the taxes here. I'm so scared because I don't usually summon this many void shots in one go anyway. War mother. Okay, guys, I cannot be, what's the word? Upset with this. A legendary dupe for the Ogrins for my faction guardians. Did I expect a legendary? No. Did I expect a war mother? Hell no. Alright, amazing champion. We got the bombs. We got the AoEs with the detonations. Pretty good champion for sure. But this is what we've all been waiting for. Let's go. Please don't make that war mother be the only legendary. Please, Polarium. I didn't expect that. How many ancients was I on before? Literally, every time that I summon a void, I don't even think of getting a Lego. It literally just feels like that. Should I do this in temples? Let's do it. We're going to do two temples, then we go single pools. Oh my god, I'm so scared. We've actually got some shards that I'm going to be doing on some clan members' accounts as well. And Madam Serious, that's my first ever one after my first one. So my first dupe. That's pretty solid. Will we see a Seer or a Skull Crown? I'll take that instead of a Lego at this point. Oh my god. Epic, a paid rush is really solid, that decreased attack if it's critical. Oh my god, a legendary! <laughs> Guys, I feel like quitting raid. <laughs> I swear to god. I am not kidding, this is my third World in Frost King. My third. I waited six months. Six months, Polarium. For my third Whirl in Frost King, I've had a Dupe Vizix, I've had two Whirl in Frost Kings and a Coroner. That was my last four legendaries. What is going on? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Guys, oh my gosh. I was so scared this was going to happen. Look, I was not even joking. I got three Whirl in Frost Kings. What am I supposed to do with them? Empower them? <laughs> I'm going to have to make like the first ever empowered Whirl or something. Oh my gosh. I did not expect this at all. Redeem yourself, Void Shards. That that can't be it. It just can't. I can't wait that many shards for another legendary. Please? Give me like that double gold that you give everyone else. <laughs> God, a long braids. Let's do the final ones in single pulls. Oh my god. I was so excited for that. Like, I never summon voids and get um, champions early. It's always on the pity system. That was literally my last four pools. I got a Whirlim, a Vizix, and then I got a Coroner, and then another Whirlim. Who gets worse odds than me? Nobody. Oh, wait. There we go. Please, please. Okay, okay, okay. Finally, Plarium, you was listening. Oh, the complaining paid off. We just got a 10x for this guy, but... 
Finally. Oh my god. I deserve that. <laughs> I literally deserve that. Okay, we've got a Void Legendary Champion, which wasn't a dupe. Is it Super ST? I'm not too sure. So we've got a Sleep A1, we've got Attacks All Enemies, 75% chance of placing Poisons, and a Decreased Defense, which is pretty nice. And then on the A3, attacks one enemy, then attacks one time at random if the target is under a Poison debuff, and would ignore Shield, Block Damage, and Unkillable Buffs. Okay, and also grants an extra turn if this attack kills an enemy. Alright then, that's not too bad I guess. Uh, maybe some of you can let me know the damage multipliers, or I'll check after the video. And instantly attacks enemies with the default skill whenever they receive damage from poison. This seems really cool for the clan boss maybe. But overall, I'll take it for sure. We still got 5 more, can we get another one? See ya? Of course not, <laughs> that train's definitely gonna continue. No see and no skull crown. Man, I definitely did not expect that one there, 100%. Okay, I can calm down now. I can calm down. Give me another legendary. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take another one. Boom. Alright, not too bad at all. Can't complain. Okay, so we got a Chaga, we got a... War Mother, and we got another Whirling Frost King. Let me know if you want me to make him a uh, plus two. And then I still have to make him plus three and four. I hope not anyway. Let's go into the next account. Okay, guys, so next up here, we got my good friend Alakuki. And every single time we summon on his account, we get legendary champions. We've only got 20 voids today, so maybe not as lucky. But he wants anything to kind of help him out with faction wars or any non dupe legendary. Good luck, Alakuki. Watch him just get like an S tier hegemon or something. Rare tax. I finally got two legendaries from Void Shards. I still can't get over it. Alright, let's do these last ones in single pools and hopefully proc something wicked, right? Let's go. A rare Rage Monger. I remember when I used to think this guy was S tier when I first started raid. If he does that poisons or something. Alright, Mikulus. Looks like a troll. Oh my god. Super rare tax. At least give him an epic Polarium. This is a 2x voids. <laughs> They're not giving it to him. He's had too much luck recently. Okay, who's this? Another Fellhound. Four more to go. An epic champion and a Broadmoor. Okay. Really solid, but he's like free with that fusion. Another epic. And a Rowan. Okay. Two more shards. Give this man a legendary. And the final one's going to be. Another epic. All right. So we got pretty lucky there at the end with a Rune Keeper Dazdurk. Really underrated, by the way. He's got like that leech, he's got increased attack and fills 10 meters, and it removes all debuffs and a 25% heal. Really substantial. So yeah, let's head into the next account. Thanks, Alakuki. And last but not least, we got my good friend King Emma. He supported me all the time on my YouTube journey. Let's pull him something amazing. Come on, let's go. Oh, I thought that was gold. Did you see that lag there? Bellowa seems to do that a lot. It used to be that Amarantine skeleton. That weird looking purple dude. Uh, we got Huntress. Another rare and less. Harrier? Hell no, get out of here. <laughs> Ash won't be happy that one. 10 more to go. Come on. Give this man a Lego. Or some good epics at least. John Cena. We can see. Well, double John Cena. Valerium, don't do him dirty like this. Okay then, we can end up with some John Cena's. Thanks King Emmett for letting me summon. And that is going to be all for the video guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know in the comment section, what did you pull over this 2x period? Catch you on the next one. Peace.